what's happening, everybody? It's Vito Torpedo. Country Hubba, a.k.a. the Chimp. You blew the belt. I've watched your fights. I ain't gonna quit like Turnham did. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He's there not gonna he quit. Is. Vito the Torpedo does not quit. And I love Vito. And he's got his own robe. We're waiting to get him in the ring. I haven't seen him in years. I love we haven't, we haven't seen these two since. are still going at We yeah. got our own we fight got, going. Yeah, they should fight. We, we, got, uh, we, haven't seen, uh, we haven't seen Vito the Torpedo since rough around eight. Can, can we get them to bring the fight? When he fought a fan of himself. Can we get the fighters in the ring? All right. Last time we saw him was Rough and Rowdy 8. We're ready. All right, no, when Vito no, fought no, a fan of himself. A fan of Vito the Torpedo oh, yeah. fought Vito the Torpedo. Yeah. Vito's got fans worldwide, even in Brazil. Yeah, no, he's, a, he's an international sensation. And again, fighting 20 pounds lighter at 395. Vito the Torpedo, I'll say this, he will not quit. He's relentless. He's a monster. He's one of my. Uh, so I actually talked to Vito trying to get him to, to basically be on the face of it when we first started. I forget what happened. He didn't want to travel. He had a job or something. Love it. Vito's a big ass dude. By the way, back to Trailer Park. That was, um, that's like Coach O has to end every interview with Go Tigers. Yeah. He has to end every single sentence with Trailer Park. All time <laughs> interview. He did get screwed. He got screwed. He would have lost, but he got screwed. Yeah, take nothing away from Shizak. Yeah. He got some dancing. What is Pronghorn, by the way? That was his. Country Hoodlum. I mean, Vito the Torpedo is a thousand times bigger than him. Yeah, uh, but yeah. will that play uh, an advantage for the Country Hoodlum in speed? 160 pound difference. Now, there's big guys and there's big guys who can fight. Vito can fucking fight. Like, Vito's one of the best I've seen do it now. I haven't seen him fight for a long Been time. a few years, yeah, a few years away from the ring. We'll see if he produces any ring rust. Will he regret getting a little bit leaner? Now, now. Maybe, maybe he took some of his power away. Yeah, yeah. Country Hoodlum won it quickly, right? His last fight in my yes. honor. Yes. Here we go, touch gloves. Look at the size of this man. And he's coming right at him. Vito just swings, and he swings. If he connects, you go down. Look at it, look, he is a big ass man. That's like a monster coming at you. Oh, good right. Oh! Wait, wait what I missed that. I thought Vito hit him and then Vito fell down. Yeah, what the hell was that? I think they were hitting each other. Yeah, they must have. That stunned him. I didn't even see the punch. I was waiting for Country Hoodlum to go down. Right. He looks good, though. He looks ready to go. You got to tell these fighters exactly what he just did. Make sure if you're awake to get in at what we've seen with the early stoppages. Good left, good right. And now Vito's back in it. Haven't seen too many guys get knocked down. Come take it. Oh, oh good got shot. Hair Vito. Him, dude. That's oh. the ropes. Vito's now in control with these big hammer punches. Just weighing Here on him. Here comes Vito. In. The torpedo now is in control. Got him back in the corner. Country Hoodlum with a shot. Good first round. Wow, great wow. first round. Wow. That's want, heavyweight boxing. I want to see that first round. Yes, time. have to see that replay. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Double Solid punch. Shot. Yeah. Solid shot. Wow. Vito hit him at the same time, but, but the other guy, Country Hoodlum, had more power. We got double Hot Wheels. We got two of the two strong ring girls right now. The ref's looking at Vito. I don't know why. Yeah, that makes me nervous, Vito. Why? It makes me nervous. Why? Why is they talking to him? He's fine. He came back and won the rest of the round. Number three, number eight is the double. A lot of coaching going up in the blue corner. It's hard to get around the body of Vito Torpedo. Like, he has a built-in yeah. defense. He's going down right here. He's a force. And by the way, he took a very good shot, shook it off, came back one rest of the round. It looked like he had Country Hoodlum in trouble. I'm not, if I'm crazy, that was enough very long in between rounds. Yeah, which I'm okay with. Yeah, give him some more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's a good helps, idea. That helps Vito. Might help uh, Country Hoodlum's got a little blood on yep. his nose. Left nostril leaking. And here we go, round two. Round one has to go to Country Hoodlum with a knockdown. Oh, Vito is just enormous. Can't get over the sheer size of that. Good right, good trading. Vito has no quit in him. Country Hoodlum's hit him with some good shots. 
Vito's One big shot either way totally turns this fight. Oh, Vito stares down his opponents. He looks like a guy underwater with his eyes open. <laughs> like he just doesn't want to blink. Coming straight forward. Look at him. Yep. Dagger right analogy. Oh, good right from Hoopa. Slowing down a little bit. Always coming forward is the team, though. Fighting one of these guys is just a grind. They're both coming at, at, at each other 24 7. Good right. Country Hoodlum's getting a little bit tired. Vito's still moving forward. You can tell Chris loves Vito. He's been with him forever. Oh, yeah. Good fight, good round. Yeah, great round. I would give that to the Torpedo, so I one so more. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we have uh, Nick and KB with Sarah if we go picture in a picture. Okay. Keep stepping to it, okay? KB and Nick. Hey, guys, we're here with Sarah. Sarah, you are the most dominant competitor in Ring Girl history. Do any of these girls stand a chance against you tonight? Let's take a look at them. I mean, everybody stands a chance. It just depends on how you promote yourself and how you handle it in the ring. Sarah, how many times have you won the Ring Girl competition at Rough and Rowdy? Um, we don't put a number on that. It's best not to, but I'm pretty sure it's in double digits. A humble oh superstar. What back to you your... guys. Back to you guys. Back to you guys. Yeah. Let's go back to you guys. Yeah, let's go back yeah. to them. Yeah, Sarah, uh, we just got she's... a nice wave from the pregnant uh, lingerie. Oh, nice. Girl. Sarah's like uh, Alabama football. Like, you, you, there might be a couple Rough and Rowdies where she doesn't win, but she'll be back. Yeah. They, she's never going anywhere. She's not going anywhere. And, and you don't even remember the ones they didn't win. You just assume she won. Like yeah, Bama. right. Like, who won last year, Bama? Yeah. Final round. This is anybody's fight in my mind. A lot of blood coming out of country of them. I don't know how Vito has the tank he does. He really, it's insane. Diesel. Being that big, throwing that many punches, still always, oh, good right. Good right. Good, good shot to Vito. Oh, yep. I fucking love Vito Torpedo. Just comes forward all the time. You give Country Hoodlum a ton of credit because you're in versus a behemoth. Yeah. And he's not backing down at all. Hundreds of pounds bigger than you. Very slow. I think Vito's starting to take. Oh, oh right. good shot. That hurt Vito. And then it followed him up. Oh, mouth guard down, still going. That helps Vito tremendously, I think. 14 seconds left. This is anyone's fight. Because Vito's kind of won it, but he also got knocked down. You know what? That mouth guard may have saved him because it seemed like uh, Country Hogan was on the attack. Yeah. Yep. Last 14. This could be the whole fight here. Oh, I love it. Both guys know. Ten seconds. Oh, good right. It may be Hoodlum there. I think right. it's Hoodlum. Yeah, I think Hoodlum towards the bell. I think Hoodlum fight. took the third, and that third, he poured it on like he didn't want to lose that title. That's a great fight. Great heavyweight fight. And you just love it when you see when the ten seconds come. And they go. And they go. Yeah. And they fucking go at each other, and that's what you love to see about Rough Rowdy. I think it's Country Hoodlum, but I'm not sure. Fighting out of the blue corner. Yeah. Yeah. Country. I agree with that. It's the first round knockdown. Yeah. First round knockdown, and then he, he had that good combination before the mouth fell out in round three. And Vito had a chance to knock hey, him down in the first four, round, and he just couldn't find it. So what belt is this? We have so many belts. This is a heavyweight championship. Isn't Bobby Lang the heavyweight champion? Oh, you're oh, right. This is a super, super heavyweight. heavyweight. This is super heavyweight. Yeah, which I love. Just keep going up and up. Oh, we're just inventing belts. I fucking love it. Bro, they Why not? They invent belts in boxing and the UFC yeah. to be And I'll title. say it again. Like, don't be a coward, Dana. Fucking unify the belts. Yeah. Let's go. We're sort of unifying the WWE Cruiserweight Championship with yes. the BMF M yes. title. We because Hornswoggle was the last champion. Wrong with Vito the t Torpedo. Guys, I'm here with Vito the Torpedo, one of the crowd favorites. Do you agree with that decision? Yes, sir. All the way. I, I, hate, to, I hate to disappoint all my fans. I know everybody's looking for a win, but we will be back. There will be a rematch. So he knocked you down in the first round. What was he hitting you with there? Uh, I'm pretty sure he caught me to the right. Right hand. And uh, so uh, you're one of the favorites at Rough and Rowdy. What, what is it about your personality that you think everyone's just latching on to? Why do they want to see you back? Why are they excited for you? I think they just enjoy seeing me throw hands like I do. I fight till the end. 
He's a big boy, and he can wiggle a little bit in there, too. And he'll be back. That's a promise. Vito the Torpedo. Back to you guys. Yeah, guys, I'm here with Country Hoodlum, who is now the super heavyweight champ. How's that feel rolling off the tongue right there? Hey, the bell's home. It's here to stay. Big 540, you know the vibes. Lottie Dottie. We know the vibes, Lottie Dottie, indeed. Now, Vito the Torpedo is the kind of guy that keeps on coming at you. What was it like to fight a guy who's that much bigger than you? Hey, try not to get hit as least as possible and hit his big ass, you know, dodging weed, weeds and bars. And what was that knockdown like in the first round, knocking down a guy who's damn near 400 pounds? I mean, it's good, but it wasn't good enough. He, he got back up, so it wasn't good enough. Maybe next time, put him to sleep. Country Hoodlum, we're gonna see a lot more of you, my friend. Congratulations on the ship. Back to you guys. Robbie Fox here, rough and rowdy commentator and ringside correspondent. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. New videos every week, and go to watchrnr.com for the latest info on our upcoming events and how to find out how you could be the next fighter in the rough and rowdy ring.